Hi, and welcome to Black Country Blitz PC Gaming. Right, do you own a Tobii 5 tracking bar or the old 4C one? And am you struggling to get some settings right? Well, this video hopefully might help you out in getting the tracking bar to do what it is supposed to do simply without having to do that many things to the settings so here we am ready to jump into the controls because that's where you find Tobioid tracking here it is at the bottom by disabling it, it says config. Right then, these are the settings that I've got dialed in. The only one I have to change is because it keeps going back to zero. Okay, so we have extended view enabled. We have it set to custom. Now there's some other default ones. So we have a 4C and a ET5 one. But I'll go custom. So direct. I've enabled that head position because whatever your head position is, that alters the game as well. Here with a multiplier, this is where things speed up. Yeah. So if you want to change anything, this is where you change in increments of five. Yeah. Any more than that, and you know, you'll have problems. So as we scroll down, you want to. Like a screen grab or anything that is what settings are i have at this present time now this is where the start that's your middle that's your end so map 100 is that is a zero which is this the viewing angle we want to look 90 degrees yeah 180 that means it goes all the way around 90s but good enough yep so we come to here and these are pretty much exactly the same for some reason these keep going from 19 to 20. there's not a lot of difference in it you want this auto pause to be disabled you don't have to do anything with them unless you want to assign buttons to it i've assigned f11 when I'm doing VR and it, to enable uh, the Tobii eye bar, I've got a sc uh, scroll lock. So by pressing that, enables it, disables it. So we go to back to the top. That's the first lot of settings you want to put in as a starter. And scroll to the bottom. And there's the others. I'll do it one more time. Then we'll have a drive round and let's show you just how good these settings am in the game itself. And there's the other. Now, if you follow the channel, then you're aware that I use Track IR as well pros to track IR over this software is I can see with an artificial head in track IR how my settings are gonna look in whatever game I'm playing so if it's Euro trucks, American trucks, a racing game that does it because they cover a lot more games than Toby I does. Um the only problem is so I would call that the positive, and then the con is 
you're tethered to a wire. So you wear this like antenna thing on your headphones, which is on a wire, and it's like having a webcam on your monitor to pick up the signal. But it is a lot easier to configure, and that is what I bought as well, as well as this Toby Eye tracking. Now, with the Toby Eye tracking, as you know, there's no wires. It follows your eyes and your head. But it's a pain in the back side to configure. It ain't easy. Some of the games, you have to use third-party plugins. You don't want to be downloading third-party plugins in this day and age. It should work out of the box, yeah? So, that's the way it is. But I did say I'd do a video as... Like I said, if you follow the channel, you'll know I'm only back on my older PC um, till I get my race uh, rig back up. If you've never followed, if you've never seen this channel before, then welcome to my channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Algorithms love them likes. But if it helps somebody out, then you know, let me know in the comments below that it helps you out with your Toby Eye. Anyway, let's have a little drive around then. So here we am, somewhere in Spain. Another thing is, I'll show you these settings as well. So my seat settings are as follows. I wish there was numbers in these, but I can't have it everything. So if you want to just look at my seat position, again, roughly get them the same. So that's the seating position. I've got 90% field of view. Oh, 69. I'm just over this little bit here with the tilt. And I don't touch. Rotation, I don't touch. Uh, steering wheel right at the bottom for telescopic. And the steering wheel tilt is at the bottom as well. So I'll run them through again. There's the seat. So I aim it off. This wing mirror, yeah. So when I come to the tilt bump, I don't want to be. I want to be about there, yeah. So when I come out of that, and I look, because I got a lot of this tilting business, it's subtle. I can see out my windows. I turn my head to the corners of my monitor and I can see around the truck. So, <clears throat> let's have a little drive so you can actually see how these settings look. So there you go, you can see uh, your left window, not a problem at all. Oh, is that one either? Again. Yeah, hey, jumping all over the place. So it's more like natural. That's what I've tried to do with this video. There's nothing, buddy. Nobody wants to watch a video where you're know, like this and moving fast. So, these are the settings we've dialed in. And I hope these help somebody out. But like I say, just let me know in the comments if these have helped you out. I'll drive back to the petrol station at the top. The petrol station? Yeah, it is. Ooh, 
and ten. It's where I want to be. Oh well. Right then, folks, I'll leave it there. Like I say, hope it helps somebody out. As we say here in the Black Country, till next time, don't order it.